Hello friends, to whom it may concern, this is my attempt to try to teach you guys a ministry, a presentation of a ministry model that I found very successful in our ministry up here in Northwest Mississippi. This is what we call the Great Huddle. This is one of the main plays, one of the main methods that we use to train or orientate principals, coaches, volunteers, donors. It does a great job of capturing a, from a large scale perspective, what FCA campus ministry is trying to accomplish. Let's start with the end in mind. In presenting this, start here. This is the goal that we're trying to accomplish. If everything that we do does not funnel down and impact these two things, then we're missing the mark. Down here, what we're trying to accomplish is our mission. Every coach, an athlete, into a growing relationship with Jesus and in his church. This is a tremendous place to start, especially with volunteers. Many of our volunteers are pastors and youth pastors, and we can say with honesty and in all sincerity that if we are not getting coaches and athletes into your church, we're not accomplishing the ministry of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Every, everything that we do should result in this, and if it doesn't, well, that's not a good thing. This is how I build this ministry model out. At the top are our FCA staff. Again, this represents campus ministry in one of the sports pillars. As FCA staff, this represents one campus. If as an FCA staff person, we can find one huddle sponsor Someone to sit at the top of the spear. Someone to see the complete vision of what FCA is trying to do. If we can get this person to see what a great huddle does, not an average huddle, not one where we show up for a, a yearbook picture, uh, we have a, one or two meetings a semester, we want this person to see this opportunity as the paramount ministry in their life. <clears throat> More impactful than a deacon, Coach Tony Dungy said that a coach is more influential than the parents are. Of course, Billy Graham, a coach will impact more young people in one year than the average person does in a lifetime. We recognize that this ministry hinges around ministry that's too and through the coach. We want this huddle sponsor to see the scope and the scale of what FCA ministry can be. These folks are busy. Oh, Lord, help us. So I try to summarize this by saying, coach, there's three things that I want you to recognize. Three things that great huddles do. One, two, Three, we don't want this coach to feel like they're doing this ministry alone. So we want to encourage them. Is there any other coach on this campus that you can engage in this ministry, in this work? That's what this represents here at the top. If we can have four coaches, three coaches, Six, however many of the Lord might lead, we want to engage coaches to take a corner of the mat to do whatever it takes to see these kids enter into the presence of Christ through the opportunity of FCA. The main, the main fastball dare I say the most important part of campus ministry 
is to identify the student leaders. Student leadership team. That's the first part. Anytime I sit down with a coach and present this, this is the first, the first component. Let's pray about who, who are the other coaches, who are the students that can help lead and launch the FCA huddle ministry on campus. Could start out with three. Might be one kid, six. Jesus' model was 12. That this group of students would be mentored and discipled by this core group of coaches. They are the ones that are leading the ministry on the campus. There's three, two components that this student leadership team is going to help to implement. One is the multi-sport huddle. The campus club. Friday morning before school, if we can get some donuts and juice. We don't want to circumvent, we don't want to pass over Many huddles will take one coach and he leads the multi-sport huddle every week. Or he gets a volunteer to come in and share, a local youth pastor. Then they have them lined up week after week after week. This is not a talking head ministry. It's not about donuts and a devotion. Let's get rid of this. This is about ministry to and through the athlete to reach the entire campus. This is, I've seen this work tremendously well on our private school campuses. <clears throat> private school, sometimes the FCA huddle can just be another meeting, another chapel time. If we can identify and empower give these kids an opportunity to flex their faith muscle. It's not their parents' faith. It's not the school's faith. It's their faith, and they are ministering to their peers across the campus. Another component is team ministry. These kids can help lead devotions for teams, Huddle sponsor can work through volunteers. Coaches can do it. Students can do it. We want to take FCA ministry to the teams. If a coach says, all right, guys, we're going to have FCA devotion. Football player does a football coach does this, says take a knee. 90 kids will take a knee. Whereas most of these campus clubs aren't going to see 90 kids. So this is the model by which we are taking FCA to the teams. We are not asking them to come to FCA. We're taking FCA to them. This, the multi-sport huddle, is the opportunity for the students to lead in their faith to reach their peers. When we do one or both of these, what we find is it spills over till we reach the entire campus. Not intentionally, not registering the campus. We register multi-sport huddles. We register team huddles. We register coaches huddles. But when we do multi-sport and teams, it spills over because of the influence of the coach. We get everybody. That's one, the student leadership team. Another component that I've mentioned are volunteers. If we're going to reach every coach and every athlete, you, John Q. staff person, are not going to be able to do it by yourself. We're going to need an army of volunteers. There could be multiple volunteers on one campus. If this huddle sponsor can help identify which teams, football, baseball, softball, as an example, that they want an FCA presence on their team, then we need to work with the coach to find out which teams need how many 
and let's line it up. These volunteers certainly need to be MLA certified. In the future, this will be a tremendous opportunity to get them E3 trained. We want to work through these volunteers to reach the multi-sport and in particularly taking FCA to the teams. The third aspect of what great huddles do, they have a student leadership team, they have volunteers that are identified, trained, working on the teams and on the campus. And Lord help us if we can get coaches huddles. What I've seen this be <clears throat> is relational groupings of football staff we can get a coach's huddle. Very rarely do they spill over. These coaches are so busy. The, the seasons usually don't overlap. It's very difficult to get any coach's huddle. But it's important that we as FCA staff share this ministry model because if we can influence these influencers, then the impact can be tremendous. So we want to try to encourage them to consider, do what we can to have a coach's huddle on the campus. And there could be multiple, but boy, these are hard to get. But a lot of times coaches are not even aware that we want to try to get coaches together. FCA has been getting student huddles together for our near 70 year history. The idea of coaches getting together is really rare, but this can be done and certainly when head coaches get this in their mind, it can become a priority and can be significantly impactful. I did have one coach pull me aside one time. We have struggled to do this at South Haven High School. My example and story to tell, this coach pulled me aside and said, man, we've got to get that coach's huddle back. That is the best thing that we do as a coaching staff. That's what the coach testified to me. But boy, they're hard to do. It starts with telling them about the opportunity. When coaches are impacted, teams are impacted, and they can certainly take their place in helping with the multi-sport huddle as well. <clears throat> All of this to the mission of leading every coach and athlete into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ and getting people in his church. Let's not forsake prayer. If you have a prayer team, get them praying about each campus. There might be folks in the community that have a particular heart for this campus, if this represents South Haven High School, to get a group of people that are consistently lifting up prayer needs that are informed, that are engaged. If the Lord doesn't build the house, we labor in vain to try to build it. If we try to move in our own strength, none of this stuff is going to work. If we can have prayer teams set up around each campus, and certainly what this does, it becomes also a mission mobilizing arm. If this group becomes aware of any needs, camp scholarships, resources, Bibles, books, donuts, whatever it is, this is a tremendous opportunity to engage the community and some prayer warriors. So for this group, just to rain down prayer consistently, strategically, empowering all this ministry to take place. These are what great huddles do. This is how I present that model. I found a lot of success in doing it. Hope that you're blessed by it that you use it and that you'd be blessed as well. Thank you much. God bless.